Hi guys, follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I'm driving this. This happens to be the Volkswagen Virtus. Okay, I have both the cars with me, the one liter as well as the 1.5. But I'm in Amritsar and it's very hot. So how do you refresh yourself? Well, with this, this is the Involve One Citrus, which is a citric car fragrance, which immediately refreshes you with the breath of freshness which it brings inside the cabin. Anyways, straight away to the car. This is the one liter, which happens to be the dynamic line. This is the 1.5, which happens to be the performance line. This is the GT trim. And you can see both the cars look very similar from the front. First and foremost, we are going to be looking at the engine. This is the one liter engine. You can see it's kind of smaller. This happens to be the 1.5 liter engine, which is slightly bigger. There is no insulation here. Neither is it here and we are just going to shut the engine bay which means there is going to be some amount of effort from my side. Put this back into place and here we go. There it is. A little bangy bangy and we are going to do the same here as well. And yeah, you can hear a bit of the noise of these engines when the hood is open and there you can see the design of these cars. It actually looks like a mini Volkswagen Jetta. It looks really very nice. Volkswagen has done a fantastic job in terms of the design of this car. Now, the lights of course look absolutely beautiful. Here you can see these are all LED units unlike the Slavia whose indicator is not LED. Here everything is LED, you get the DRL right there. Projector setup says GT here. The fog light is not LED, these are halogens. And you get this piano black finishing on the front. From the front, both these cars look really fantastic. In fact, this one gets yeah dual tone roof, black colored outside rear view mirrors, black colored roof as well. From the side, it's slightly longer than the Slavia, 20 mm or so longer. And it says GT on the side, has black colored wheels which the non-GT variant does not get. You get chrome door handles, like you get chrome on the door handles, which you can see here. Attention to detail is nice with Volkswagen written here. Piano black finishing on the B pillar as well. This chrome line which runs and lots of cuts and creases. It actually looks fantastic, this car. Says GT right there. Okay, black colored wheels with red colored brake calipers. In fact, even uh, where you put the air from has this beautiful VW written there. Now that I think is optional, might not come standard with the car, but this is going to be subject to a lot of theft because look at it, isn't that a thing of beauty? Okay, I love attention to detail. Tire size happens to be 205 55, 16, which is again identical to the Slavia. In fact, you can call it the Vento replacement, which it is. By the way, it is a facelifted version of the Virtus, which is actually sold in the global markets. And you can also call it brother from another mother, which is a Slavia with a VW badge, but the design is completely different. In profile, obviously, it looks so much like the Slavia. Coming to the rear of the car, again, the lights are absolutely beautiful. You get this piano black finishing, these four lines here, and the lights might remind you of the Jetta again. Chrome inside, says GT here, and because this is the GT variant, it gets this lip spoiler too. Love the way the VW logo has been done. Says Virtus there, and then you get rear parking sensors. I think there are three of them. Yeah, there are three rear parking sensors. Here is the reverse parking camera, and you get this chrome on the bumper. Now, how do you identify the one liter and the 1.5? I mean, visual differences are very much uh, uh, obvious, but you need to go down and see the exhaust. Dual exhaust here on the 1.5, and a single exhaust on the one liter variant. Yeah, that is a single exhaust. Vassal Khan's fingers of truth will have to go down to test all this. So what do you think about the design of the car? I think they have done a fantastic job. In fact, you get a shark fin antenna, which gets the piano black finishing as well. So there you see it guys, absolutely great looking cars, both the Volkswagen Virtus twins. So we're gonna concentrate on the red one because red is a red is a red is a red. Straight away, I'm gonna be opening the boot of this vehicle, which means I just press a button and there, it goes up and then it might come down a bit. No. Boot is actually massive. It's a huge boot. I think 521 liters. You have to be careful over it because it keeps moving. There you can see the camera lights for the number plate. Just going to push this up. High mounted stop lamp. And there is a spare wheel, which is a full size tire, but it is not an alloy. 205, 55, 16. Again, the engines, the platform, the features, the chassis the suspension and almost every component is identical to the Slavia. So what's different? Well, the design is definitely different and I think the suspension tuning is also slightly different, but otherwise it's more or less the same. Now let's get behind. Before that, let me tell you, there's actually a request sensor here. So request sensors on both the sides, which Hyundai does not do. Maruti does give request sensors on both the sides. That's a nice touch. This car has a long wheelbase. So there's good amount of space on offer. Look at the amount of space. It's absolutely amazing. In fact, you can see there is good amount of storage here. 
in the rear doors but lot of hard plastics and when i was showing you the spare wheel here i remember that the slavia actually happens to get a subwoofer there this car does not now let's get inside and it gets isofix child seat anchors and split seats as well 40 60 you can split it so yeah that's also practical seats are again identical to the slavia well almost you know why because the slavia actually gets a mobile phone holder which is missing in this car so Volkswagen has removed some practical bits why would they do that height adjustable seat belts would be a nice touch in fact it gets six airbags this is for the side airbag of course there's a hook here there's a handle but you know what this does not get the treatment wherein it does not retract so fast it doesn't go back smoothly so that's something that could be done and the roof could be finished better there is light on the top here let's go the bound say yeah there is the light two lights on the top really good amount of leg room and knee room slightly scooped out magazine holder here under thigh support is okay it's not the best but it's not bad at all headroom is slight bit of an issue with someone as tall as me which they could have addressed by making the seat a little bit more reclined but no the seat is a bit upright if it was more reclined it would be more comfortable for sure and the quality of the seats are absolutely fantastic you get this red stitching you get a center armrest with twin cup holders as well and there's the parcel shelf maybe they could have had a sun blind here manually no problem but they should have had that as well now three people can sit in comfortably because the floor is almost flat you get two usb-c charging sockets as well and uh, these are the ac vents at the rear wherein it also tells you the sign that itni hawa khao bhai rear seat is absolutely amazing i really like it let's get out and let me shut the door okay first and foremost these are the speakers so it gets eight speaker system and i think that eight speaker system is standard from the base trim of this car which means uh, <laughs> even when you get the lower variant you are getting good bang for your buck let's get inside to the front because this is the gt line it gets this chrome finishing on the pedals and there's some exposed bit which you can see there's a proper dead pedal right there this is obviously for the lights automatic headlights automatic wipers hard plastics are in plenty this is for the headlight leveler door pockets are big at the front but you know the slavia gets this elastic so that you can secure yourself this is again missing in this car one touch up and down only for the driver window yeah that's right only for the driver side not for all the windows and when you press the key of the car it does not roll down all the windows this is the key it says Volkswagen there this is to unlock the car this is to open the boot and this is to lock the car and then this is the flip key which you don't need because it gets a push button start in fact check this out okay here I press this button to open the boot it will obviously not work faster because the car is on at the moment anyways seats are really very nice very comfy get this red stitching again I told you identical seats to the Slavia now once I get inside first and foremost I'm going to keep this car perfume here from involve your senses the involve one citrus the best thing is it slots right there like right there super easy to regulate check this out it's so easy to regulate and it does not even leak so it will work for 45 to 60 days which again is fantastic and really refreshes your mood when you put it inside the car twin cup holders here and because this car has only USB-C charging sockets they've actually put a car charger because not everyone is on USB-C yet so for the regular USB charging let's shut the door which reminds me of another thing there was a ticket holder okay here which is there in the Slavia which is missing in the Virtus in fact the audio system is not branded unlike a lot of other car in the segment which have it auto dimming inside your view mirror here you get a mirror same as the case no you don't get a mirror here you just get this strap for the toll receipt holder which you might need because that's missing you get a handle to hold on to on the driver side as well they could have you know made this smoother for sure light placement here on the top let's open the sunroof and then it does take some time to open First and foremost, I like the fact that, you know, everything is so similar to the Slavia that I can even sleep and talk about it because I'm so used to the Slavia. I actually have one Slavia with me, 1.5 liter, but I opted for the manual. Let's shut this. We don't get a manual with the 1.5, do we? Anyways, for the virtues, okay, hard plastics are in plenty. Glove box is actually decent size and it's also cooled. Hmm, that's cool. And the dashboard is kind of very similar to the Tigan, yeah, very similar. Unlike the Slavia, which has slight changes when compared to the Kushak, this thing seems almost identical. You get this red finishing for the GT line of course and this piano black finishing which is a fingerprint magnet so we just won't leave our fingerprints hazard light switch overall cabin is nice again this is carried forward from the other Volkswagen Skoda group of cars this you know is what climate control air conditioning which is touch operated air conditioning is actually a chiller there's a wireless charging pad here and there you can see two USB-C charging sockets as well this is the engine yeah can you see that yeah this is the button to start the engine this is for the stop start system and there's a card holder which has been added so i'm going to use my own card this is actually my business card what we do isn't work yeah we don't do work because it's passion so here we just slot into place you have a proper card holder that's nice 
ventilated seats which do make some noise but they are not as effective as say the xl6 seat okay i'm just going to shut this because the noise is coming but you know what in the slavia one is on this side one is on that side here so they have put both on this side only so it's a little inconvenient for the co-passenger get lever feels nice to hold meanwhile let's just get into reverse this is the reverse parking camera it could have occupied the full screen but you know thode bahut side mein aise khali pada hua hai so that's something again which could have been better for sure yeah adaptive guidelines are not there that's kind of surprising no physical buttons as such so your traction control ke liye button dabana padega come on physical buttons would have been really very nice the screen is nice and easy to operate and then you get data here as well and then you have some apps which you can use it gets connected card tech as well so yeah it's a good screen audio quality let's listen to an audio right away where is the button <laughs> there it is okay audio quality is okay it's average is not amazing so they could have offered a branded system for sure that is the handbrake of the vehicle this thing actually slides there's actually some storage space below which is kind of chintum into as well and uh, yeah the steering wheel is adjustable both for reach as well as rake yeah both height adjust as well as you know both sides is adjustable horn horn is kind of meek not up to volkswagen standards for sure lot of buttons here this is for the cruise control system this is for the volume this is to go ahead or behind the track and these are the controls to browse through that uh instrument cluster so you press a button there are multiple modes i believe so yeah i press this view button and you can see i can change it now that is an 8 inch unit but unfortunately it has this area on the side which is not filled so it could have been a 10 inch unit but you know they have kind of a uh, cut cost here now obviously the red one looks better than the one in the slavia which is yellow colored but it could have done with like a bigger uh, the screen occupying more space you get all the essential information which you would ever need which is quite nice here i can browse through stuff like you know the usual bits like a lot of information all the driving data temperature audio music system stuff and yeah that's cool so that's something which you would actually expect from this car meanwhile uh, okay it gets automatic wipers as well you just use the wipers right away look at the amount of spray it's absolutely crazy there's some spray which has come on the top as well meanwhile these are the controls for the indicators steering has this perforation which makes it really nice to hold you get paddles as well yeah paddle shifters are also offered in this car but i like the dashboard design i just think it looks better by the way it also gets ambient lighting light it blinks here somewhere this red light comes at night which again looks really awesome auto dimming mirror i think i've already told you that and uh, yeah <laughs> let me put an indicator you can see that indicator on the outside rear view mirror working as well it also gets esc hill hold and five adjustable headrests which means everybody gets a head in this car which is fantastic by the way it does not get a tire pressure monitoring system instead it gets a tire deflation system which tells me if any of the tire is deflated meanwhile okay all the systems and all you can like settings obviously it has to be there let's turn off the car when i turn it off there it gives me the drive summary and then i open the door this thing shuts i close the door and i realize one thing matlab mujhe pehle se pata hai that if i keep a button press it's not going to roll down all the windows which is kind of disappointing i shut the car there the mirrors actually retract and go inside okay this vehicle data will be there for some time and then it will obviously vanish let me just unlock the car and as soon as i do that again the mirrors retract okay let me turn on the vehicle and when i do that okay yeah it did not do a full swipe up what's wrong with your instrument cluster i expected at least that it also gets esc hill hold ye sab to bata chuka hu chalo let's start driving here right away all right we all set to go i know you can't see anything because we're against the sun so what you're going to do we're going to turn off the air conditioning first thing we are going to get into drive mode hand brake down we will change this to see driving data although it doesn't really show much i'm going to change the view to the one which i like this one is the one i like obviously and let's start moving right away now i'm actually getting out of a khet which gives the opportunity for you guys to see the ground clearance plus you can see the ride is absolutely fantastic i mean this is a car which is unbelievably well packaged in terms of almost every regard and i think i like the dashboard better than the one on the slavia because it feels sporty and i like sporty stuff as well now front wheel drive we shouldn't lose traction we should have some momentum oh, okay there it's spinning wheels and yeah oh, oh you could you, you could you see that could you see the amount of uh, this thing happening to it kya bolte hain dhua jo usme hai and yeah straight away onto the throttle mm engine is amazing it's such a lovely engine i wish the horn was slightly better make a quick overtake no problem here onto the gas and Yeah, it's a job done in no time because this is a 1.5 liter TSI Evo engine which has 150 horsepower. Directional changes absolutely crazy the way this car is so unbelievably awesome. So 1.5 liter TSI engine 
आई वो इंजन फैसल वर्ड्स क्यों खा रहे हो मतलब एक्साइटमेंट में हो जाता है दिस प्रोड्यूस वन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी हॉर्स पावर एंड द टॉक आउटपुट इज इक्वली इंप्रेसिव टू हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी न्यूटन मीटर्स दिस बींग द डी एस जी हैज द टर्बो लैक बेटर कंटेंट बिकॉज द मैनुअल हैज सम ऑन टर्बो लैक बट बेटर दैन द वन लीटर विच हैज इवन मोर टर्बो लैक नाउ द थिंग इज दैट्स बिकॉज ऑफ द नाइस वाइट जूसी टॉक रश फ्रॉम दिस कार ओवरऑल परफॉर्मेंस इज एब्सोलूटली एन अदर लीग ऑल टूगेदर इट इज पॉइंट टू सेकंड स्लोअर दैन द मैनुअल बट यू नो वॉट It's very quick. 8.8 seconds to go from zero to 100 kilometers per hour, which is extremely fast. And the suspension is so well calibrated. Even on bad roads, you don't feel a thing. Ground clearance is ample. So again, even on the worst of roads, you can just glide through. What an amazing car! Okay, this being the replacement of the Venter has tried to justify almost everything. Has done a fab job. Okay, here around the corners there is body roll, but it's well contained, and I kind of don't find the suspension to be as soft as I find it on the Slider. So I think they have made changes to the suspension, made it slightly stiffer. The steering also feels slightly better, although it is light at low speeds, weighs up very nicely at high speeds. High speed stability is also fantastic. I'm just all praises for this guy. It's so so freaking good. The only thing is you have to worry about is the sales and service, and in case any issues happen, how do you ta- tackle that? But For the most part, hard job, hi. <laughs> For the most part, there's nothing to complain about because that is how good this car is. Making a quick overtake, no problem at all. Let me get the elephant in the room, which happens with the fact that this car costs three lakhs more than the one liter engine, uh, because the prices haven't been revealed. But if you take the price of the Slavia, eighteen lakh rupees for the one liter automatic and the one point five liter DSG is priced at twenty one lakh rupees on road Mumbai, of course. So would you pay a premium of three lakhs for the one point five for an extra cylinder? Of course you will, because this engine is another league altogether. So what a fantastic motor! I love it, absolutely love it. Miss left me, Jane. What's the right me, Jane? Because again, we'll be against the sun. So here we go and onto the throttle. Wheel spin, boss. Wheel spin. That is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Unbelievable performance. It's like faster than almost everything around. That is the sheer grunt from this engine. What a fantastic car! Okay, now uh, the Slavia manual and automatic have a price difference of two lakh rupees. Okay, two lakh rupees is the price difference between the manual and the automatic version of the 1.5 liter engine model. So the DSG's premium is quite a bit, but then obviously you get a really fast snapping gearbox. And now is the time for the thing which you all guys have been waiting for: traction control off into sport mode, hazard light off, manual में चलेगी sport में ले आते. Okay, and now it's sport. Revving the motor. Okay, stop start system at turn off the car. Revs doesn't. रेव ओनली क्या कर रहे हो यार रेव कर लो थोड़ा बहुत तो लॉन्च कैसे करेंगे यही डीएसजी की प्रॉब्लम है इट डज नॉट रेव ओनली इट्स लाइक स्टक एट बिटवीन 1000 एंड 1500 आरपीएम ओके नो इट विल नॉट लॉन्च अब शिफ्ट्स एट 6000 आरपीएम इन फर्स्ट गियर अराउंड 6500 आरपीएम इन सेकंड गियर and the third gear is kind of tall gear that you can go to speeds like 130 km per hour so 0 to 100 km per hour comes really very quick it's like super duper 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 fast like what an engine absolutely puts a massive smile on your face that is the level of performance and grunt on offer i love it okay the parallel shifters is kind of you know they're not useless because i was able to get a downshift engine gets a little noisy you can hear that sportiness beyond say uh, 5000 rpm becomes a little loud and vocal in that regard but the problem is that it does not hold on to a gear even when i get into manual mode so here in manual mode i'm on downshift 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 come on give me a second no it will not hold on to a gear come on we should have got complete manual control of thing maruti does that even with its amd model cast skoda volkswagen you should probably engineer that bit here as well now this engine obviously gets cylinder deactivation technology when you're driving the car at lower speeds and light loads it will cut two of the cylinders to ensure better fuel efficiency so uska koi alag display mujhe lagana padega us kaam karte hain normal mode mein aa jate hain okay here we are into okay there are three modes for the gearbox there is drive regular which we are in right now if i just slot it behind we get into sport mode and if i slot it on the right side i get into manual mode manual mode mein kuch hota as such so here we are going to come into regular drive mode so cylinder deactivation is actually another very good feature which helps boosting the fuel efficiency of this car honestly it will i think it will easily manage to return somewhere between you know 9 to 15 km per liter depending on your driving style city mein to 9 10 to pakad ke chalo but if you drive it sedately 12 13 aaram se mil jayegi highway pe you can stretch it to almost 15 km per liter i'm just wondering ye na mesa aise kyon kar raha hai cylinder deactivation kyon nahi aa raha hai seven speed dsg it's very fast with chips like very very fast with chips look at that exhaust on that brazza oh my god mm, sports suv urus <laughs> now we are in seventh gear anyways forget cylinder deactivation we shall do that maybe in some other video but yeah that feature really works maybe it's working maybe it's on two cylinders you never know it's just not giving me that disc at the moment so fantastic car in almost every way this is amazing i just like all praises but there's a slight issue uh, which you shall not talk about in this car here we are into sport mode i'm going to go here we go okay brakes yeah nice and strong as well 
come on uh, where is the fast tag is there why is it not detecting it yeah there it detects and then we have actually crossed the toll booth are we in another state altogether onto the throttle it doesn't get rear disc but still braking performance is very strong check that out Oh, uh, a uh, little bit of judder and slide. Tires could offer more grip for sure. Now it's time to launch again, driving the motor in. No wheel spin at all. So obviously most people are not going to buy the 1.5 liter engine model. I think maybe five to ten percent sales are going to come from that because of the premium in the terms of pricing. The where and most people are going to buy is going to be the one liter model because obviously it's cheaper and it's going to yeah I mean I mean attract a lot more buyers for sure. Now the thing is this is a one liter TSI engine which is three cylinders. You don't feel it's three cylinders when you're driving the car because it's so smooth, refined, and for a three cylinder engine it absolutely punches way above its weight because of the overall refinement and. Yeah, the torque output, which is 170 newton meters, again very good for a one liter engine because obviously it's turbocharged. All the engines are turbocharged and have direct injection. By the way, it produces 115 horsepower. So when compared to the Vento, slightly more power, five horsepower more. And then the most important thing is that it gets the job done. Zero to 100 kilometers per hour takes slightly more than 11 seconds, which, to be honest, is yeah, uh, it is. Around two and a half seconds more than the 1.5 liter engine model. Obviously, the 1.5 is in a different league altogether. And when driving this car after the 1.5, I immediately realized that there's something lacking. It doesn't rev as fast. It doesn't feel as punchy. It doesn't feel as fast as well. So yes, the 1.5 is another segment altogether. That's the kind of performance it offers. This one doesn't rev as quickly and then has more lag as well. This uh, six-speed torque converter, ASIN sourced automatic gearbox is. Not as good as the DSG in terms of shift quality, in terms of the speed of shifts, and obviously in terms of the smoothness as well. Can't really blame it because that has dual clutches, which means double the smoothness, double the speed of shifts. Anyways, let's get into sport mode. Here we are into sport mode. In sport mode, now uh, performance is slightly better. Shifts are a little bit more eager. But that said. Mm, I kind of feel that uh, they could have uh, calibrated the gearbox slightly better here. Now the manual has a lot more lag. The automatic has slightly better contained lag, so you don't feel that much turbo lag because yeah, lower down it kind of is an issue when driving in the city. But for the most part, you won't really complain because the mid range is really very strong, and you know it's only in the top end you realize that okay, it's a, it's a three cylinder engine. Otherwise, you don't really feel it at all. Okay, again three modes here for the gearbox, which is drive, sport, which we are in right now, and manual. Mode and you have got paddle shifters as well, and using the paddle shifters is again not of much use because it will not hold on to gear. Look at this up shifts at around six and a half thousand RPM uh, in second gear. In first, I think it does it around six thousand RPM. Again, all that has been done to save the gearbox. In fact, this automatic torque converter gearbox first made its global debut in the Kushak, and uh, it's actually a very good unit when compared to the manual. Uh, the automatic obviously offers the convenience, but the manual will offer you better fuel efficiency. And fuel efficiency here would be at least two to three kilometers per liter more than the one point five liter engine model. Obviously, it cannot have cylinder deactivation because if it cuts two out of the three cylinders, then you'll be driving on one cylinder. You can imagine the amount of vibration which you're going to feel in this car. That said, uh, this actually feels lighter in the front. The front end feels lighter, so it's kind of slightly more eager to corner. The steering also feels slightly lighter. Now again, this is because of the lighter weight of this car with one cylinder less. Overall performance will keep you wanting if you drive the 1.5. But if you never touch the 1.5, you're going to be happy and content with this for sure. Here, come on, yeah, it doesn't just rev that fast, and then you are like, hmm, 1.5 is just mind blowing. But again, you have to pay that premium for the 1.5 without a doubt. Now, top speed of the 1.5 is almost 200 kilometers per hour. This will still reach 190 kilometers per hour without any issue. Braking performance. You heard that how it is. <laughs> okay, now I've come to a halt. Put the hazard lights on. I've left the brakes. Now it does creep ahead quite aggressively initially, and then starts creeping at around eight kilometers per hour. I'm not putting my leg on the brakes at all. Neither on the accelerator. It will just creep forward ahead, and you have to actually modulate the brake pedal when driving in the city. And the turbo lag you really encounter in the city. Here I'm going to come to a halt. I'm going to get into sport mode, driving the motor, traction control off, hazard light off, and off we go.
it does take some time to make a shift it's not that immediate with shifts it's not that fast it's not that urgent when compared to the dsg but for you know sedate driving for people who are not enthusiastic about driving this gets the job done with its smoothness the convenience and obviously the aq250 should be more reliable than the dq model the one the dsg unit because it's a dual clutch and then you know actually it's a dry clutch by the way the dsg so here we have it if you have the money and if you like driving get the 1.5 without or not the manual of course and if you're looking for something for the convenience get the 1 liter 80 so why are you going to get the 1.5 dsg well if you're lazy enough but you still like driving you should probably think of getting that one yeah overall it's a fantastic car really very nice really a lot of fun the 1.5 is my pick for sure but the 1 liter is also hugely impressive in fact uh, you know it's only at idle you can feel that it's a three cylinder unit otherwise you don't really feel it okay <laughs> i think the price of this particular model will be around rupees 18 lakhs on road mumbai which is kind of part the segment obviously you don't get a diesel which is a missed opportunity and diesel is not going to come that's the reason they are giving you the 1.5 but now since i drove the honda city hybrid yesterday let's do a direct comparison which car is better honestly that hybrid is super smooth and super efficient nothing can even come close to the fuel efficiency of that hybrid it's so freaking efficient and also punchy enough but in all other ways the siblings from skoda and volkswagen are just better better package better ride and handling balance and i would definitely choose either the slavia or the virtus over the honda city even though i'm a big fan of the city so guys this is my vlog of the i was going to say skoda pata nahi mujhe mumbai atak jati ho pat because cars are so similar the way they drive everything mqb a0 i and platform slightly more dynamic i would say really slightly like you have to drive both back to back to understand the difference we're going to launch it once again this time we're going to do it in manual mode obviously it doesn't hold on to get you want to listen to the brakes okay Yeah, <laughs> as a light off, revving the motor, and off we go. Quite pronounced, huh? That uh, lag lower down, especially you feel it on full throttle for sure. So, guys, this is my vlog of this beautiful Volkswagen Virtus, a fitting replacement to the Vento, but a Vento is a Vento is a Vento because a Vento is more dynamic. It's stiffer. It has a better steering. It has better handling. It just feels more robust. It feels like a tank. This one is a little bit pared down. You could say this is 90% of Volkswagen, not the 100% which the Vento was. If you like this vlog, make sure to give the thumbs up. That's the like button, and also subscribe to the channel. And do not forget to check out this awesome car perfume from Involve Your Senses. This is the Involve One Citrus. It's such an amazing smell. I really like it. And if you want to get it with a 10% discount using coupon code Fastbeam, click here on the top right screen. Bye bye.